Hey everyone, it's Michelle with Silver Snake Designs and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make my beautiful butterfly. I had originally called this golden butterfly, but I wanted to actually do this in a different color just because I was so overwhelmed by the amount of people who loved my colorway for my Nevette bracelet. I decided that I was gonna do the butterfly in this colorway. I've gone ahead and um, pre-beaded <laughs> components that we will cover in the video um, because we're gonna need two of these. I just decided to pre-bead these because I also wanted to show you how beautiful it's gonna look when it's gonna be in this colorway. And I think it's just gonna be a beautiful butterfly and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like uh, when it's done. So let's get started. Here are the components that we're gonna be using to uh, do our beautiful butterfly. You're gonna need at least, I think I have like 40 or 50 grams of size 11 uh, gold seed beads. These are the PF557s Toho brand. I also have the same Toho brand 557 in size 15s. I'm also working with, uh, this is 0494 in Toho permanent finish. This is like a blush color. And I have uh, two by three millimeter rondelles. And I'm also, these are like a cream color um, with like an AB finish. And I also have your Nevettes, so you're gonna need the really large sides, the 13 by 27, and, excuse me, <laughs> the 17 by 32 for the large size, and the 13 by 27 for the small size. And as you can see, I have these packaged up because I'm gonna have these um, ready to go in my Etsy shop for the just the beads only and I'll have the tutorial here for the video. Um, but beads only will be in the Etsy shop if you are looking to have all the beads together to create this beautiful pendant. Um, I also have a uh, fire line. You can work with six pound, eight pound, 10 pound, whatever you want. And of course a beading needle. Oh, and one other thing, <laughs> you're going to need bugle beads. Forgot to add those two little things in there. Um, you can either do regular bugle beads, um, but I think for this one, I'm going to do twisty bugle beads. Okay, let's get back into it. So for our first portion of the necklace, we're going to work on the body here, and it looks like we're going to need about 14 rows and we're gonna top off by a uh, cubic right angle weave of rondelles. We're gonna add our two bugle beads and I've added, I wanted two of the pink little beads, I think for the little antenna toppers for this part. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this in stages. We're gonna start off with the body, then we're gonna do the wings, then we're gonna do the necklace portion, and then lastly, we'll do the toggle clasp. So what you're gonna do is pick up a rondelle and three seed beads just like this we'll bring this down just like that and i like to leave a tail a couple inches and i'll go back through the rondelle just like that and your work should look like this now I want my rondelle to be facing me. No, I don't. So I want my rondelle to be facing me. And then what I'm gonna do is pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead. And I'm gonna go back through the rondelle, just like that going to pull the thread tight and your work should look like that should look like a little race car now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this next seed bead right here and I'm going to pull that through I'm going to pick up two seed beads and then I'm going to go through this seed bead and this seed bead right here like that. 
or pull, and your work should now look like this. Then what we're gonna do is go through the next seed bead, just like that. We're gonna pick up two seed beads, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go through this seed bead and this seed bead right here. So that one and that one. Okay. And then we're going to go through the next seed bead. Okay. Here's where the tough part is. And I always say this in my videos that I'm going to show you where we're going to go and then we'll actually do it. So what I'm gonna do is point to where we have to go and then I'll pick up the seed beads as we need. So your work looks like this and it doesn't look like a cube, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our needle, we're gonna go through this gold bead right here, we're gonna pick up a seed bead, we're gonna come down this gold bead back through here on this side, back through this bead, back through the gold bead and out the roundel. Now, I'm not gonna pull my thread tight because we don't have to, but we can leave it flat until we can pull it together, so that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up this bead up here. We're gonna pick up a bead. Like I said, I'm not gonna pull my thread tight, and we're gonna come down here, that bead there. I'll just keep it loose just so you can see it. See? See how that it's going to be in a circle? Then we're going to come back through this bead here. Just like that. So it's just going to be one circle. Okay. We're going to come up the bead here. And then... Can you still see? Just want to make sure you guys can see that. And then we will go out the rondelle. Just like that. And I haven't pulled my thread tight. Okay, so see how that looks? So now what I want you to do is take both ends, pull it together, and there you've made it. So now you should have the two rondelles that are standing on top of each other that way with the holes going horizontal. And you know you did it correctly is when you look at it head on and you see the rondelle and three seed beads around it so it looks like a little paw print. And then you can also see holes facing you in each of these corners. Okay, and that's how you know you did your first round. Well, technically two units, because we have two rondelles. So now what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a little hard to hold, but you can hold it. Just pinch it right there. And now we're gonna complete our next unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead. And we're gonna go back through the rondelle, just like that and we're gonna pull, okay? So you can see it looks like the beginning, and this is what it is. The prior base that you have access, the, or the I guess the roof you can call it, the top part of your prior round, is actually gonna be the base for you to do your next unit. So now that we've gone through the rondelle, you're gonna go through the next seed bead like that, then we'll pick up two seed beads and we'll go through this bead and this bead. Okay. We'll go through the next seed bead. We'll pick up two seed beads and then we'll go through, because now it's starting to curl up again, it's starting to stand up on its own so it's gonna be a little harder to see, but if it helps you, lay it flat, and then we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead. Okay. And now what we'll do is we'll go up this seed bead here, 
So we'll see that. And now what you can see here, because this is already standing up, you can see we're gonna go up this seed bead here. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down this one here, back through here, back up this one and out the rondelle. But now you can see that this is going to create almost like a diamond shaped pattern. Right now, because we didn't pick up a seed bead here, which we'll do shortly, you can see we have a we should have a bead on the top, bottom, left, and right. And you'll notice that pattern when you do cubic right angle weave. It comes in handy. Um, I really like the diamond pattern um, because it shows where you can put your uh, needle next. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up that one. We're going to pick up a seed bead. We'll come down there. Okay, and there's our top. We'll come back across this bottom one here. So the bottom part of the diamond. Okay, see how it makes the diamond? Top, bottom, left and right. Up this part. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and out the rondelle. Exiting the rondelle, you always wanna exit the rondelle when you're doing this because exiting the rondelle sets us up for the next unit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count out 11 rondelles, five, 10, 11 rondelles, and you're going to bead these rondelles all the way up so go ahead, pause the video, beat the 11 rondelles, and when you've added those on, unpause the video, come back and I'll show you how to do the little head of the butterfly. Okay, so we have gone ahead and added on 14 rondelles, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the little head of the butterfly. It's very easy. The only thing you're gonna do is cubic right angle weave the uh, rondelles. So we will start by picking up three rondelles, just like that. And then we're gonna go back through this rondelle. Just like that. We're gonna go through the next seed bead. We'll pick up two rondelles. And we'll go through this rondelle and this seed bead. It's just like that. Then we'll go through the next seed bead and we'll pick up two rondelles and we'll go through this rondelle and this seed bead. Just like that. We'll go through the next seed bead and just like you did prior, we'll go up this rondelle here. We'll pick up a rondelle. We'll come down this rondelle here. We'll come across this seed bead. We'll come up this rondelle. Back up here on this side and we will go out the rondelle here. And now, because these are pretty loose, what you wanna do is you just wanna bring your needle back through all four of the rondelles. And if you wanna do, because the rondelle holes are a little bit bigger, if you wanna go around a couple times, you can. And make sure that when you do go around, your thread is exiting the rondelle this one, so we'll go through two more. You wanna make sure your thread is exiting the rondelle where you have the channel setting of rondelles. And so now we have a thread coming out here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up a bugle bead. So we're gonna make the antenna. We will bring that down like that. We'll pick up one of the little 15 beads. If you wanna use one of the blush beads, you can. And now skipping over that blue, that um, blush bead, we're gonna go right back into the bugle bead and back through that rondelle. Okay.
Okay, so our little blush bead is over here. And this is what it's gonna do. Just like that. Now we're gonna pick up another bugle bead. I'm gonna pick up the other little 15. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna skip over the blush bead. We'll go through the bugle bead and back through the rondelle, just like that. Oh, made a cute little antenna. <laughs> and there it is. So now what you're gonna do is bring your thread back through this rondelle here and down here. So you want your thread to come out of here. And so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add the size 15 seed beads. So I've gone ahead and poured out a little pile of the 15 seed beads. And this part was really easy. You're gonna pick up a 15, we're using the blush. And if you see here along the way, we have these size 11s. And we're just gonna take our 15 and we're gonna go through the size 11 just like that so that the 15 sits in between those little the little valley so we can picture those little gold beads as the mountains and the little 15s will fit in between there in the valleys so go ahead and just do that Okay, so now I'm picking up my bead and to get to this other side, now that I don't have any more gold beads to go through, I'm gonna go through the rondelle. So I'm gonna cross the river to get over to the other side. And you're gonna notice, as I'm sure, that as you are doing this, your um, little <laughs> caterpillar may be pulling to one side and that's okay. Just keep the tension straight. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. But when you reach the end here, just give it a little pull. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back up the other side. So we're gonna pick up a seed bead, a little 15, and we're gonna go back through up here. Okay, so now we've come up one side and went down and came up the other side now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on the back so in essence we're going to have all four sides and that'll help us keep our little caterpillar straight so now what you're going to do is since there's no gold beads to go through here we're going to kind of flip it over onto its side and we're going to go through this gold bead right here and that's just it. Then we're going to pick up our 15s. We're going to go down here. This is going to be such a pretty butterfly. I can't wait. So there you go. Go all the way down. Cut across the river here on this little seed bead. Come all the way up. And when you've done that, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, and now I'm picking up my last bead. And I'm going to come over here. All right, I can see here's our little caterpillar. We're gonna turn our caterpillar into a lovely butterfly. Can't wait. So now what you can do is if you have enough string, you can go all the way down, go through the 15 and the 11s all the way down, just like that. We'll take the, uh, the express train on our New York subway system. And then I'll come down these last few beads. And I'll come out the rondelle. And I will tie it off. If you find that you don't have enough thread, maybe you have enough in your tail, you can meet halfway, tie it off, maybe like on the back of the butterfly, move the beads over. But that's really all you do here. And then I'm just going to knot this up just like that.
And there we are. And now, one of the things that you can do, because this is going to be a little flappy, is you can take a little bit of glue, if you want, and just add it to the inside there. So, like, you know, add a little bit of glue and then hold it in place. And it'll stay. And so here's our lovely little caterpillar. All right. So now what we're going to do... It doesn't matter what you do first. <laughs> you can do the big, the two big ones. You could do the two small ones, whatever. But what we just did with the cubic right angle weave is what we're going to do for this. So for all four pieces of the wings, what I want you to do, let me get my samples out. What I want you to do for your large wing, and I'll put this in the um, in the uh, description box. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So your large size is gonna get 15 on either side for a total of 30 rondelles. And I believe this one gets 12 if I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of these. So the next step we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do a 90 degree turn. When it comes to the 90 degree turns, I don't want you to add, you know, start here. We'll do our 90 degree turn and then join here on another 90 degree turn. So you're going to need two. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up, let's say, five or six rondelles. I'll show you how to do a 90 degree turn. We'll pick up the 12. We'll do another 90 degree turn. We'll add the remaining beads, five or six, whatever, and then we'll join here because it'll be easier to join here than it will be to go here. So let's get started on the wings. Okay, so now we are on the wing portion of our butterfly. And here's our little, little, cute little caterpillar. I had gone ahead and pre-beaded these for the sake of the video because they're going to have to be beaded anyway, um, basically behind the scenes. But I also wanted to pre-bead just so we had a visual representation. And it really doesn't matter which one you start off with. We're going to start off with the small one. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the fire line or whatever you have and just start beating. So I'm going to put some fire line on my needle. Just like that. And I'll move these off to the side. And we'll start by picking up the same thing as we did with the but with the little caterpillar going to pick up a rondelle and three seed beads just like that I'm going to bring that down we'll go through the rondelle okay we'll pick up a seed bead a rondelle and a seed bead and we'll go through that rondelle. And now your work should look like this. Looks like a little Reese car. We'll go through the next seed bead. We'll pick up two seed beads. And we will go through this seed bead and this seed bead. So it's just like that. Now your work should look like that. We'll go through the next seed bead. We'll pick up two seed beads. And we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead right here. So those two. Pull our thread. And last, we'll go through this seed bead here and once again I'll show you the thread path that you need I'm not going to pull this tight 
So we'll go up through here, this seed bead here. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down this one here, come across here, back up here, and out the roundel. Okay? So we'll come up that seed bead there. We'll pick up a roundel, I mean, excuse me, a seed bead. We'll come down this seed bead on this side. Okay, I'm not going to pull tight. I just want you to see the thread path that it's going to take. And you can see how it's going to loop together. And when we exit the rondelle, we pull tight like we did before. And that's what's going to give us our unit. And then we're going to go back through this seed bead here. Okay. We're going to come up this seed bead here, back up here. And then we are going to go out the rondelle. Okay. You can see we made like a little loop there. I'm going to grab both ends of the string and we're going to pull. And once again, your seed beads should be sitting on top of each other. Your rondelles should be sitting on top of each other like this with the holes horizontal. And once again, if you look at it head on, you'll see what looks like a paw print with the rondelle and the three seed beads. And in each of the corners, if you see the holes facing you, you did it correctly. And now we're going to continue doing a unit. But with this one, like I said, um, I wanted to, we have on two, let me do three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do four more units. So I'm going to, I put my little pile of four seed beads here, rondelles here. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Finish doing your cubic right angle weave using four more rondelles, and then I'll show you how to do a 90 degree turn. Okay, so we've gone ahead and added our six rondelles, and this is how you do a um, right hand turn. We're going to pick up a rondelle and two seed beads. Okay, and we're gonna go back through the rondelle. All right, do you see how that rondelle is kind of <laughs> moving to the right there? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the next seed bead. Then what we're gonna do is pick up two seed beads and we're actually gonna go through that rondelle and that seed bead and that's what's gonna turn it to the right. Okay, and then we're going to go through the next seed bead. All right, and there goes the ambulance that I'm not going to be able to edit out. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up two seed beads, and then we're going to go through that seed bead and that seed bead. Just like that. And then we're going to go through the next seed bead. Then we're going to come up as usual pick up a seed bead we'll come down again on the other side here we'll come across and we'll come up gold bead here but instead of going out the rondelle we're actually going to go out the seed bead on the top there And that's what that's gonna look like. See how that is a 90 degree turn going that way? So now, because these seed beads are all loose at the top, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our needle and we're just gonna go through all four, back out here, just like that. And then once you've come up to out of the seed bead near the rondelle, now you're gonna go out the rondelle, just like that, okay? And now you're just gonna flip it on its side and continue to do cubic right angle weave. It's very, very easy, just like that, because you don't really have to worry about any of the beads over here that you just did. You just need to worry about this unit right here. And technically we've already made a unit and when you could look, 
disregard, you can see we have the little paw print with the rondelle and the three seed beads, and you can kind of see the beads staring back at you in the four corners. But the little thing about this is it's it's how you hold it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'll do a round for you. So we'll pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead, and we'll go back through that rondelle, just like that. And then you'll see that seed bead right there. We'll go right through that. And then we'll pick up two seed beads and then we'll go through that seed bead and that seed bead there. Just like that, you know, hold it here. Just like that, and you can see the unit is already standing up. And then we'll go through that one right there. Always make sure that you're looking at the diamond shape pattern. One, two, three, and four. Then we'll pick up two seed beads and we'll go through this bead and this bead here. So this corner bead and the one on the base there. And we'll pull that through. And then once again, we'll go through that base bead there. We'll go up. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll go down the other side. We'll come across. And now once again, we'll go up and we'll go out the rondelle. Just like that. And now you've set yourself up. We've already got two rows completed. So now what you're gonna do is because we have two rows, count out 10 seed bee or 10 rondelles, five, 10, okay? Cause that'll give us the 12 on one side because don't forget, we're now working like this, okay? So now you wanna add the 12 on the other side and then we'll do another 90 degree turn. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is show you how to do the 90 degree turn one more time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a rondelle and two seed beads. And we're gonna go through the rondelle, just like that. I'm gonna go through the next seed bead. I'll pick up two seed beads and I'll go through the rondelle and that seed bead, my thread is exiting. I'll go through the next seed bead. Oopsie. <laughs> Just like that. Pick up two seed beads and I'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead here. So Just like that. I will come across the bottom one. I will come up on this side, I will pick up a seed bead. I'll come back down here. I will come across. I will come up. Once again, we're not going to be exiting the um, the uh, rondelle. We're going to be exiting the seed bead. So I'll come up here and then I'll go through the seed beads in the court around in a circle here. One, two, three, four. Back up through that seed bead and then I'll flip it over on its side and go through the rondelle. And once again, we'll just work up. We'll pick up a seed bead, a rondelle and a seed bead and I'll go back through that rondelle. I'll go through this next seed bead here. It's a little hard to see, but like I said, you can kind of see the seed bead and the rondelle. So, and it makes almost like a diamond shape pattern, but this time it's the rondelle that's on the top, seed bead, seed bead, and seed bead. 
so this is like the pattern that we follow just like that and then we'll pick up two seed beads and then I'll go through that seed bead and then that seed bead in the base just like that let me give myself a little extra thread I'll go through the next seed bead pick up two seed beads and then I'll go through this seed bead and then this seed bead here so the one on the side there and out there just like that and you can see now it's standing up I'll go back through that seed bead at the bottom and once again we'll come up I'll pick up a seed bead I'll come down move my little bead back back I'll come across and I'll come up and out the rondelle okay I'm gonna have to add on some extra thread but this is what we look like now okay and so far as you can see we've added 12 here on this side we have one two three four five six seven eight already on here okay so now we need to do nine ten eleven twelve so now what you want to do is add on your four rondelles do cubic right angle weave four more times and when you're done I will show you how to join the pieces together okay so now we're ready to join the ends joining the ends of cubic right angle weave can be very daunting for somebody who's never done it before um, but the thing that you need to remember okay is this diamond shape pattern that you can see and I keep saying this because it's going to be key and I want you to visually get used to seeing it so you have the top bottom left left and right beads okay and you could see it makes this pattern all the way down and it makes the pattern here and it makes the pattern here except for the left and the right beads are rondelles instead of the seed beads Okay, so get used to seeing that. Also, get used to seeing where the ends are. Get used to seeing these seed beads or these rondelles, these seed beads, because when we join the rounds, we're going to join them here. Then we're going to join them here. So you need to see where the two ends are on this side. You need to see where the two ends are on the back here. Okay because that's gonna be the key. So you always wanna be aware of where your needle's gonna go next and where you are on, whether you're on the front, the side, or the back, or in there <laughs> when we're done. Okay, so the first thing you wanna take note is where's your thread coming out of? I like to have my thread coming out on this side because I am right-handed, so I use my needle and hold it here. So we're going to join the front, and since my needle is coming out here, I want to go up and out the rondelle on this side. So I'm going to pick up a seed bead, and I'm going to come up and out the rondelle on this side. So in essence, I'm just going to make a loop, so you can see. And then I'm going to pick up another seed bead and I'm going to come down the loop on this side. Okay. And see what that does with the loopies. Okay. There's the loops. So now we're just going to pull tight. Make sure that it doesn't get wonky because you don't want it be wonky and that's one side so to get to the other side we're gonna go back through this seed bead here okay we're gonna go back up the rondelle we'll pull a little tight 
And now what we're gonna do is take note of this top seed bead that we added on, because when we flip it over onto its side, let me move that thread out of the way, you can see we have a bottom, we have a left and a right. We want our thread to come up this right side and because it looks like, and you see that we have a space there, we have to add a seed bead. So we're gonna come up this side here. We're gonna pick up a seed bead. And we're gonna come down this side here. Now, the very first one, when we had done the side with the rondelles, we had to pick up two. But we don't have to do that here because the top one that we added on on this side becomes the base when we do on this side, okay? And likewise, this top one that we're putting on right now is gonna become a base when we do this side, okay? So what you wanna do is you can see the loop, it's making the diamond pattern, and you're just gonna loop it, and then we're gonna pull that tight. So now we have this side done, we have this side done, and the next thing we wanna do is flip it over on its back. And once again, you can see that we have the bottom, we have a right, and we have a left side. And we need something up here. So we're gonna come up here. I'll pick up a seed bead. And I'll come down here on the other side Just like that. Let me move the tail out of the way. And now what we're gonna do, it's gonna come across the bottom here. We're gonna come up here. And then we'll pull a little tight, and there we go. And you can see the diamond shape pattern. Now, what we're gonna do, this part is gonna be difficult, okay? The good news is that we don't have to pick up a bead. But what we need to do, so you can see these beads are pretty loose right here. See how that's loose in there? We just need to take our thread. Let me see if you guys can see. We just need to take our thread and bring it through these four beads. So you see how that's all loose? I'm trying to get the good angle in there. There you go. See how those aren't joined together? So we're gonna come up this bead here. Now mind where you put your, your needle. You wanna go, bring your needle through up and through the loop because you want your thread to be on this side of the piece behind it. We're gonna come across and then back down the other side. So just like that. Okay, we're gonna do one final cut across here on this side of the piece. We're going to come back up here. And when we flip it, we should be on the rondelle side and your thread should go through the rondelle. And if you did it correctly, you're gonna go through the rondelle with your tail, okay? Now, if you don't have enough thread to complete, because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do peyote stitch on the inside diameter, you can cut your thread, tie the two ends together, cut the thread, um, add new thread and continue. But what I'm going to do now is because I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> what I want to show you now is the inside diameter and how to do the peyote stitch of that. Okay, so because I have enough thread to go automatically do the peyote stitch, I'm not going to tie this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working thread, and that's my tail, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come back around, doesn't matter where, because it all goes into a loop anyway. 
and I'm gonna make sure that my thread is coming out a gold bead on the inside diameter there. Okay, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is the fun part. We're gonna do the peyote stitch. And as you can see, we have the pink beads in between the, the uh, larger gold beads. And then we finish with a third round of gold. So we do two rounds of pink and then a round of gold. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick up a pink bead and go through the next gold bead. That's it, <laughs> very easy. <laughs> pick up a pink bead and go through the next gold bead. And what I want you to do, pick up a pink and go through the next gold bead. So I want you to continue doing that all the way around. And then when you finally get to your here, where you're going to put up another pink bead and go through the gold bead, stop right here. So you have a space here and I'll show you what you're gonna do next. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put on my last little 15. And what you wanna do is your step up. So we're gonna go through the 11 and then we're gonna go through the pink bead, that very first pink bead that you put on, just like that. And that'll ready us for our next round. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a pink bead and we're gonna go through the next pink bead, the one that's it's gonna be a, maybe a little difficult because those little 15s can sit right in between those 11s. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. I'm gonna pick up our pink bead and we'll go through our next pink bead. So go ahead, pause the video, do that all the way around. And then when you get to the end again, where you're gonna put your last bead on, unpause the video and I'll show you the next step up. Okay, so I'm putting on my last bead and this time my step up is gonna be the pink bead. The very first pink bead I put on and then that other pink bead right on the top there. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling to get this on, but I will get it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this pink bead first And because it was a little hard to get my needle through, and then I'm gonna go up that pink bead up there. So if you're looking at it, we put this pink bead on, and then we went up through this bead and this bead up here. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the gold. And this will be our final round. And because we have the teeth sticking up, yum, 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 um, it'll be easier for us to uh, just put our little 15s right through there. So you're gonna pick up a gold 15 and you're just gonna go through your next pink bead. Just like that. Pick up a gold and go through your next 15. And just keep doing that all the way around. And if you're from, if you want to do the step up, you can. Um, when you come back around here, you'll go up through the pink and the gold, um, and you can complete your round that way. But if you still need help with the step up, pause the video, go around, unpause, and I'll show you how to do the uh, last step up. Okay, and here I am picking up my last gold fifteen. And this time my step up is going to be the pink and the gold bead, just like that. And that completes the front. Well, kind of, sort of. Um, I'm not doing the row of pink 15s around the edge here, only because I want to encase the navette first. So we're gonna do the back, same thing that we did on the front. We're gonna do it on the back. 
I'm afraid that if I don't, and actually I have done it on other Nivets, that if I've done this first and I go to tighten it, it kind of curls it up and it kind of makes it all wonky and the Nivette doesn't sit right if we don't encase it first. So I'd rather encase that first and then do the outer diameter. So now that we've done our step up, we really don't need to do anything on this row. So I'm just gonna bring um, my needle back through. In fact, because it's coming up through a bead, I'm just gonna stick my needle straight through the piece, <laughs> just like that. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to bring my needle through. And if you need help figuring out what the inside diameter is, pop in the Nivette and now it's not going to hold just yet but then you'll be able to see okay let me push my bead through here just like that or my needle through there and there it is so now what we're going to do is just like in the front we're going to pick up a pink bead and we're going to go through the next gold bead pick up a bead and go through the next gold bead if you want, you could hold your Nivette in shape in there, but you don't have to at this point. It's going to, you're probably going to spend more time trying to hold it in place than you are, you know, beating. So it's okay to go, you know, do your first round and then pop in the Nivette and then pull tight. So go ahead, add the little pink 15s in between your 11s, just like what you did up front. And then, um, come before you put on the, uh, last bead, unpause the video, and I'll show you how to do the step up again. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my last little pink on this row. I'm gonna go through the gold seed bead and out the pink bead. Okay, and now at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Nevette, I'm gonna pop it in I'm just going to pull a little tight just to make sure those beads are a little around it. And it's still probably, it's still going to pop out. You're probably not going to be able to hold it in very well, but it'll be a lot better than um, when you first tried to pop it in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just pick up our 15 and then we're going to go a little pink 15 and then we're going to go through our next 15. It's going to be a little bit difficult just because you um, you pulled tight, but now you can see the little 15 coming up over the Nevette. And so this is just what we're going to do. We're going to pick up our little 15 and go through the next little 15, the little pink. And as you do this, it's going to start tightening up a little bit better and you'll find that your Nivette is going to stay in place more. But because you're pulling tight, it'll probably be a little difficult to get your needle in between those beads and just do this all the way around. So we're on our second round. All right. So continue doing that, pause the video, continue going around, and then I'll show you what to do with your next step up. Okay, so now I am finishing up my second round of pinks. I'm gonna go through that pink bead there and that pink bead there as my step up. And I'm gonna do a final round of the gold 15s and we're just going to do that all the way around okay and now i'm up on my last step up and i'm going to go through those beads right there the pink and the gold and we've completed encasing the navette so now what we're going to do is we're just going to bring our needle and thread To the outer diameter just like this just like this 
So we're going to come out to the outside diameter. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to pick up a pink bead and just do one round and go through the next gold 11. And we're just going to pick up a pink and go through the next. And that's all you're going to do all the way around. And then what you're going to do is get your needle and thread to the outside diameter and do the same thing. Okay, I'm adding my last pink. And now I'm just going to bring my thread around to the front here. I'll go this way because it's easier for me to bead this way. And then I'm just adding a pink and going all around. And once you do that and go all the way around, take whatever thread you have, work it back through your piece, you know, knot it in the back or go back through your little 15s where your thread will hold tight due to uh, friction in the small holes and whatever you want. You can glue it in the back if you want. Um, and I'll meet you guys on the other side here and I should be finished with mine as well. Okay, so we've gone ahead and made the navette and everything looks great. And what I want you to do now is you're gonna have to do another one of these and you're gonna have to make two of these, the big navettes, okay? This one I'm gonna do off camera, <laughs> movie magic. Um, but what I want you to do is I thought I was going to do this one in the video, but I decided against it only because everything you need to know is here. And the only thing that you're going to have to do instead of 12 rondelles on either side, you'll actually have 15 rondelles. So what that's going to do is you may want to start off by beating seven or eight, do your 90 degree turn, add your 15 rondelles do another 90 degree turn and then do your balance of seven or eight whatever you decided to do and then join here so there was really no need for me to show you how to do this all over again when the only difference is that you're just going to be increasing the number of rondelles on either side the pattern and the how you do it is still the same and that's not going to change so i'm going to go ahead do this off camera and when i come back we're going to join and we're going to make our wings. So I can't wait to see that. See you shortly. Okay, so we now have our little caterpillar beaded. And we are going to turn our little caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. So um, congratulations on getting this far. Um, we're almost done. We're about halfway done. What we're going to do is join these two pieces together. Then we'll join the other wings together. And then once these wings are joined together, we will give our little caterpillar some wings. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to join our wings. So I'm gonna grab these two. I'm gonna put my other little butterfly over here. I'll give him some wings. There we go, there we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the points. So as you can see, if you look at the gold bead here, there's a gold bead here, and there's a gold bead here at this point. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those, and now what I'm doing is I'm holding it like this because I want my tail to be in the back. So I'm going to join these together. I'm gonna go up the gold bead like this. I'm gonna keep a tail. I'm gonna pick up a gold bead I'm going to come down this other gold bead here. So just like it's, it's very similar to when we're closing the cubic. And then I'm going to come back up this bead here. Just like that. And now what I want to do is because I want to do the back first, we're going to come back across, back down the bead again. So this will also reinforce it. 
And now I'm gonna flip it over like this, move my tail out of the way. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join the back ends together. And this is one thing I love about cubic right angle weave, because as you can see, we have a left and a right and a bottom and we need a top. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to ignore the pink beads. Pretend the pink beads don't even exist. Okay, and I'm gonna come up through this gold bead here. Okay, so just like that. This is a little hard for me to hold and bead, so bear with me. I'm gonna pick up a gold bead and I'm gonna come down. You wanna make sure it matches up the gold bead back down on this side. Like I said, just ignore the pink beads. It's a little hard to bead while I'm holding this like this. Okay, so now, bloop. <laughs> See how that beaded together? So now what we're gonna do is we want to uh, get ourselves ready up for the next round. So I'm gonna go back across through the bottom bead. Mind my tail. Okay, this is a little hard to hold and bead. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here like this, back up that side bead, so that diamond shape pattern. And then what I wanna do is come across the top one that we just put on and then go across that next gold bead up here on our next row. So it's just like that. Okay, and now that we just put a bottom one on We're now going to see how we have the bottom now. Now we have a left and a right. Now we need a top one. So I'm gonna pick up an 11. And I'm gonna come back down the gold bead on the opposite side. Just like that. And then we'll pull. I'm going to hold it like that. I'm going to pull tight. And now it should start looking like that. Okay. And then you're going to do this for one more round. Okay. So we're going to go back across here, down the bottom bead, back up the left bead. back across the bead that we just put on. Okay, it's getting easier for me to hold now that it's joined. And then we're gonna come up this bead here, the next bead in the row. We'll pick up an 11, and then we'll come down the gold on the opposite side, just like that. And there we are. And then we're gonna come back across the bottom one. This just reinforces it. Back up here on the other side, on the right side of the bead. And then we're gonna come across the gold one only, okay. And now what we want to do, now that we've added our gold bead, now what we have to do is we have to get it to the other side so we can join this. See how floppy that is? So we're going to come up our next gold bead here, okay, on the other side. And then, 
Pokemon tail. We're going to look over here, okay? We're gonna go down, we're gonna go across this gold bead on the inside there. See that? Okay. And then we're gonna come down the pink bead right next to it. This is where we're going to stop ignoring the pink beads. Okay. So we're gonna go down to the pink bead. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close this up by basically beading down in a spiral all the beads. So we're coming down the pink bead so now what you want to do is you want to make sure your beads match. Let's come down. Let's go down into the next gold bead. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come up the gold bead opposite. And then we're gonna come down the gold bead on the opposite side and down the pink bead. So we're matching those up. Just like that, okay? And then this is how we're just gonna close this part. Then we're gonna go up the pink bead on the other side. Okay and then come down the pink and gold on the opposite side. So that way when we start closing it, it'll start closing it together. Then we're gonna come up the gold bead on the opposite side. And then we're gonna go down the gold and the pink bead on the opposite side. We'll come up the pink bead. And then we'll go down on the opposite side, the pink and the gold bead. And then we just do this all the way down, pretty easy. We'll come up the gold bead on this side. And then we'll come down the gold and the pink bead on this side, on the opposite. So you're just basically doing this type of stitch all the way down. We'll come up the pink bead on this side and then we're almost done. And I'll show you how to finish it off. And then we'll come down the pink and the gold on this side. And now, what we're gonna do is come back up the gold on this side. And then come back down the gold on the opposite side, just because I want to make sure that this is reinforced. And then we can do, if you want, you can do the pink. You don't have to, but we're going to do the pink and go down come up again come down the pink on the opposite side again and now we're gonna come down here this bead from where we put the original bead on just 
just like that. And you should be coming out the same bead that your tail is coming out of. And with that being said, we can take it and we can cut it and then we can tie it. I would not add glue to this only because we are going to be adding this to this. And if you have glue clogging up your bead holes, then you're not gonna get your needle through. So what we're gonna do now, cut the thread. And now you'll have to do that to this other one. So go ahead, pause the video. I have chapters, so just go back to the beginning of this chapter and that'll show you how to do the other one. And now we're ready to give our little caterpillar some wings. So you've gone ahead and joined both wings together. And now we're gonna take the wings and attach them to the body. And this is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna pick up the, butter, the uh, caterpillar. We're gonna flip them over. We're gonna pick up a pair of wings. I'm gonna flip it over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up just like that. And this is how we're gonna line it up. We're gonna use a point of reference. We're gonna line up, we're gonna, first we're gonna ignore the pink beads on the back just like we did um, when we were joining the back of these together. And now what we're gonna do is start from our second gold bead up on the back of the caterpillar and then what we're gonna do is our next point of reference will be 10 gold beads up or four gold beads down, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and put our needle up through the gold bead, just like that. I will give myself a little bit of a tail, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna count 10 gold beads up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So right there, I'm gonna pick up gold bead and I'm gonna go down that bead there. move my tail out of the way so I'm not gonna pull tight just because I want you to see and then just like we did we are going to um, like we did the back here we're gonna join it together and then I'm gonna pick up a gold bead and then I'm gonna come back up the gold bead second from the bottom. And I'm gonna pull, move my tail, and there we go. I'm gonna do this one more time to go around just to reinforce it so that way my tail doesn't pull out. Here we go. And back up the gold bead on this side. Okay. There we go. move the tail out. It's a little hard to move the tail out of the way, but okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up the bead that we just put on. Just like that. And then we're going to go up the bead on the corner there. And then we'll go up the bead on the opposite side. And pull that through. 
And then we're gonna pick up another gold bead. And then we're gonna come down the gold bead on the opposite side. So in essence, just creating almost like that ladder all the way up. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. We'll do one more. pick up a gold bead and come around the gold on the opposite side. And then I'll come down that gold bead there. And then we're just gonna do this going up. And it's okay when you come to this, um, I guess the little dip in there from the wing just it, it's okay if you attach it and it's okay if the body of the butterfly kind of does that a little bit and it's okay so just continue up until you get about I want to say one two three fourth from the bottom or fourth from the top so that gold bead there and stop when you join up to that far and then I'll show you what to do next Okay, so you've made it to the fourth one at the bottom, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one more. And so that way we'll get it one, two, three from the top of the caterpillar head. So we'll do one more. I'll pick up my seed bead. I'll come down the opposite side. And then I'll come up and then back up here. So now what we're gonna do, there. It's okay if your butterfly is a bit wonky like this because when we put the other side on, it'll pull it back out <laughs> and it'll kind of straighten itself out. All right, so now we're going to take our needle and we're gonna get our needle in the front. So I'll go through that bead in the side there And then we now have to close this up. And so I'm going to come through. Let's come through the pink bead that's closest to where our thread is exiting out, which would be this bead right here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join these together and we're gonna get the closest pink beads. We're not gonna do the whole thing all the way down. We're just gonna do, as you can see in the sample here, that we probably did maybe two. We joined a couple there. We joined a couple there, a couple there, and a couple there. So we really didn't, and there's, you know, it's, it holds it well. And that's also too to keep the, uh, caterpillar portion from becoming wonky wonky <laughs> we don't like wonky wonkies so what we're going to do is we're exiting this pink bead here and then I'm just going to match up the closest pink bead that I can here so I'll just go to this one just like that and then I'll come down the pink bead on the other side. And down the gold bead. I'll come up on the gold bead on this side. And then I'll come down the gold and the pink bead on this side. Okay, and I think we'll probably go down to about these gold beads right here. So then I'll come up 
on this side. I'll come up the pink bead here. At this point, you can do what you feel is necessary. You don't have to follow this to a T. If you want to add more stitches, feel free to do it if you feel that it looks better. But I found that you don't have to. Okay, so we went up, then we're gonna, the pink, then we'll go down the pink and the gold. I'll come up the gold on the opposite side on the caterpillar. And I'll come down the gold and the pink and I think I'll go down to the next gold one and that that'll work for me so I'll come up the pink here I'll come down the pink and the gold here I'll come up the gold on this side. I'll come down the gold here. And that should be good to hold my um, top part of the lead, of the butterfly wing. So now what we'll do is we'll just come down here, we'll just take like the express train down all these beads. And I wanna get to the bottom wing. So I'll just go through here, follow the beads. Like I'll just come over here Come over here <laughs> and then I will, I'll pull up here and I will see that I think I want to come down to this pink bead here because that looks like where it's going to start to join again on the bottom portion of the wing to the caterpillar body mind your thread I don't know about you but mine keeps getting caught And now, oops, I went through the, too far. So now I came down through the pink bead and I'm gonna go and match up. So I'll go through the pink bead opposite I'll come down the pink and the gold. There. And I, when I go down the rest of the beads, I don't want to go down the last one I want to join. Is this gold bead here? I want to keep the bottom two free. So then I'll come up the gold. And this is how you join the wings together. And then I'll come down the gold and the pink on this side. I'll come up the pink on this side. I'll come down the pink and the gold on this side. And that will be my last stitch. OK, 
okay. And now I'm gonna come up the gold here. All right, and now what I wanna do is I wanna get my string back onto this side. So I'm just gonna go through the rondelle across here. I'm gonna take the express train down the gold, pink, gold, pink, all the way down. And now I've exited the pink bead and I'm just gonna come across the bottom here and come up the pink and the gold. And we'll just move our thread over here. And now we can tie it. So just like that, we'll take our scissors, we'll snip, and we have one half of our butterfly done. And now you just have to go ahead and attach the other side like I told you before. And uh, once we're done with that, it is time to move on to the necklace portion and the toggle clasp. So see you shortly. Okay, everyone, give yourself a round of applause for finishing the butterfly. Just look how beautiful that is. Oh, it is just so beautiful. We're now gonna be working on the necklace portion and we're going to make this. I've already pre-made this and this is very easy. It's cubic right angle weave. What we're gonna do is we are gonna start with a 90 degree turn we're gonna add our rondelles. We're gonna do a four-way intersection. Then we're gonna work on the right side and then we're gonna come down and join on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece. We're gonna work on this side. We're gonna bring it up, do a four-way intersection, add more rondelles and join there. Okay, so what we're gonna need is the two by three uh, millimeter rondelles, size 11 seed beads, and the size 15 pink beads. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by doing a 90 degree turn here, and it's very easy to do. We're gonna pick up one rondelle and three seed beads, okay? And we're just gonna come down like this. And then we're gonna go through the rondelle. Just like that. Okay, pull that, work should look like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a rondelle and two seed beads. And we're gonna go back through the rondelle. So just like that, okay. Then we're gonna go through the seed bead next seed bead we're going to pick up two seed beads and we're going to go back through the rondelle and the seed bead so just like that and your work should look like this oopsie And now what we're gonna do is go through the next seed bead. And I'm gonna pick up two seed beads. And I'm gonna go through this seed bead and this seed bead. So these two right here. And now just like I showed you how to do cubic right angle weave before, we're gonna go through this seed bead here. Okay. And now, once again, I'm gonna go, just gonna show you. We're not gonna pick up any beads. So we're gonna go through this seed bead here. Then we'll pick up a bead. We'll go through this seed bead here. 
back through this seed bead, back through this seed bead, and then instead of a rondelle like we have been doing to go through, we're actually going to go back out through that seed bead up on the top there. Okay, so we're going to go up through this seed bead. I'll pick up a seed bead. I'll come down this seed bead here and through that seed bead. I will come up this seed bead. Actually, let me watch my thread. And then out the seed bead on the other side at the top there. And then we'll pull that. And then when we grab both and pull, you can see that the rondelle It's almost at a 90 degree angle. And it's not gonna look like it is right now because we still have to bead the beads. But you can see the hole on this bead is going this way and the hole on this bead is going this way. Okay, and you know you did it right when your thread is exiting this and you look on the top there and you can just see four gold seed beads and you see the hole facing you of three gold seed beads and the rondelle in the lower right corner. See that? So now what I like to do with this is I like to bring my thread through all four of these seed beads, these gold ones up on the top here. I know you're used to seeing cubic right ankle weave the other way where you'll see the rondelle and the three little beads around it that look like a paw print, but not with this one. And this is kind of why I wanted to do this one last because we got used to doing cubic right angle weave this way with our straight and then we got used to it doing a 90 degree turn, but this is a right hand 90 degree turn and this one is a left-hand 90-degree turn, okay? So now that we've done that, I'm going to bring my thread to my closest rondelle, which is this one, and I'm just going to go through that rondelle. So now what I'm going to be doing... So technically, when we look at it, it's going to be this part right here the bottom part, just like that, okay? So we're gonna be focusing on this side, going this way. Do you see that? I just wanna make sure you guys can visualize this because cubic right angle weave can be very hard. See? Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cubic right angle weave up this side as normal, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do seven as normal. So to keep yourself straight, count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rondelles, and that'll keep us straight. And now, that your thread is exiting this rondelle, if you look at it, there's your little paw print. So there's the rondelle and the one, two, three. Okay, so what you do is now you just focus on that and cubic right angle weave like you normally do. So that is a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead. And then we'll go back through the rondelle just like that. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this. <laughs> I always make sure I walk you through things. And then we're gonna go through that next seed bead there. Okay. And as usual, we're gonna pick up our two seed beads. And I'm gonna go through this seed bead here and this seed bead here. Okay. We're 
we're going to go through our next seed bead here. And I'll pick up two seed beads. And I will go through this seed bead and this seed bead. And then what I will do, go across the bottom seed bead there. We'll come up the seed bead on this side. We'll pick up a seed bead and we'll come down here. across we'll come up and then out the rondelle just like that okay now go ahead and bead your other six and when you're done beading those come back and then I'll show you what to do next Okay, so now we've gone ahead and beaded all the way up. And you can see now how it turns into a 90 degree angle here at the bottom now that we've gone ahead and beaded. So what this is going to do is give us that 90 degree turn is going to give us something to attach to. Because if I just had you do straight and we would be joining here, it would be next to impossible. So that's why I had you do the 90 degree turn in the beginning. And now what we're gonna do is, as you can see, our next one is our intersection. So we're gonna add a three-way intersection, and that's really easy to do. We're gonna pick up three rondelles, just like that. We're gonna go through the rondelle So just like that, we're gonna go through our next seed bead. We're just gonna do as we normally do. We'll pick up two seed beads and I'm gonna go through this rondelle and that seed bead. I'm gonna go through the next seed bead. Oh no, there, a little bit tough. <laughs> And then I'm gonna pick up two seed beads and I'm gonna go through this seed bead and this seed bead. A little bit tougher, because I think, the little, the little hole is plugged up. This is what happens with uh, these kinds of seed beads, okay? Then we're gonna go through the bottom bead there. We're going to come up this rondelle. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down the other side. We'll come across. We'll come up. And we'll come out the top rondelle. Okay. And there we are. So now what this does, this gets us ready for here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our thread down on this run Adele here, okay? So just like this on the right side. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're going, since we have one here, and we already have one here at the bottom, and we have a total of eight here, we're gonna need six this time around. So one, two, three, four, five, and six rondelles. So count those out. So as you can see, we're coming here, okay? And what this is gonna do, we're gonna come down here and by doing this three-way intersection, you can see we've already set ourselves up at the 90 degree turn here. So we'll beat up again and come around, okay? Do you see how that works? 
All right, and now let's put on a cubic right angle weave. Now, as you can see, once again, because you have a big row here, you can just completely ignore all that and just focus on this paw print. So you want to just focus on this seed bead, this rondelle, and these three seed beads and forget about everything else. Okay? Pretend that does, doesn't exist. And once again, you would just cubic right angle weave as normal, just by picking up a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead, and then going through the rondelle. Might get into the, might get in a way a little bit, but that's okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the next seed bead. Okay, remember this as your 90 degree turn on the butterfly. Then we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead here. Just like that. And then we'll go through this seed bead here. We'll pick up two seed beads. And then we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead here. We'll go through this seed bead here. Mind your thread. <laughs> Come up this seed bead here. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down this seed bead here on this side. We'll come back across. We'll come up this seed bead here again. And we will come out the rondelle. Okay. Now do you see where we're going with that? You can see how this, like I said up here, starts us with another 90 degree turn. So what we'll do is once we've attached this, we'll start here, do our 90 degree turn and attach, or do our um, four, 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 three way intersection, well four way, and then reattach again on this side. So that'll give you an idea of just like a visual, just so you can see. Okay, so go ahead, add on how many beads do we have? We have five beads left. So go on, add that, and I'll show you what to do next. And I'll show you how to join it again. Okay. Okay, now it is time to join the two pieces. And we're going to do that. by bringing these two pieces together, just like that. So now what I wanna do is I wanna pick up a gold seed bead and I wanna come up this rondelle here. And I'm gonna pick up another seed bead and I'm gonna come down this rondelle on the other side. Okay, mind your tail, and now your work should look like this. So now what I'm gonna do is because we need to close this on all four sides, I'm gonna go back through this gold seed bead here, up the rondelle back on this side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it onto its next side. Now, I'm sure you remember when we were joining in our butterfly wing that when you look at this, we have a bottom one, which is the top one that we put on in the prior row, prior side. And then we have a left and we have a right and we have an opening in the top there. So I'm just going to bring my needle up this seed bead here on the right. I'll pick up a seed bead 
and I'll come down the one on the left side and I'll come across the bottom one and I'll come across the top and I will mind my thread my tail thread always gets in the way and now you can always tell when you did it right when you have that diamond shape pattern so the top bottom left and right then we're going to go to our next side and once again you can see the hole right there at the top and this one this bottom bead is the bead that we put on the top in the prior side so we'll just go up here on this side go up the right side We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down the left side. We'll pick up a seed bead and we will come down the left side. So just like that come across oops that bottom bead will come up this bead and now what we want to do is close off on the inside there and it's a good thing that we don't have to add on any more beads so what we're going to do is we're going to go up the bead we're going to go across this bead on the top here which is the bottom one that we added on on this side okay watch your tail okay and now we're going to come down that bead on the other side come around the bottom one, which is the top that we put on this side. And then we're gonna come up. And then if we go out the rondelle and you did it right, you will come out the very first tail of the very first bead you put on. And we're gonna tie this off we are done with our first unit now if you want and if you have thread I'm going to show you something you can do and you have a, and let's say you have a lot of thread depending on how much thread you put on what you can do is you can just take your thread and just go up and bring it all the way through because now what we're gonna do is now that we've made our first unit we're gonna start beading from here again then we're gonna do our seven beads we're gonna add our three and then we're gonna work from this side back down and we're gonna join again here okay you can go up and then come out and exit this rondelle here or you can do what I did, tie off your thread, cut it, and then start again up here. And then once you start again up here, just like this, I still have some thread. What we're going to do now is we're just going to cubic right angle weave as normal. And since we need uh, the eight beads and we already have one on, I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five six seven seven <laughs> and i'm just going to cubic right angle weave that up and then join again here okay so if you need to sh see how to do this i will put chapters in and that way you can go ahead repeat everything and once you've done that um you can make your necklace as long as you need 
This one I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made it ten. So you can make it as long and as short as you want. And one thing I like about it doing this way with each unit is that you can periodically check the length to see how you want it and how long you want it, whether you wanted a longer necklace or whether you want it as a shorter necklace. I just wanted to bring this up to you. When you are getting ready to work on your last and final round, add on your eight beads and stop because we're gonna have to do a 90 degree turn because we're not gonna be adding the two beads um, and joining anymore. We're gonna have to close it up. So um, when we add it to the butterfly, it'll look like this. Okay, so go ahead, add your eight beads, and then come back and I'll show you how to do a 90 degree turn. Okay, so in the beginning, we had done a left hand turn. This one, we're gonna do a right hand turn. And now what you wanna do is pick up a rondelle and two seed beads. We'll go back through the rondelle and then we'll go through the next gold seed bead. I'll pick up two seed beads and then I'll go through the rondelle and the seed bead. And then I'll go through the next gold bead. I'll pick up two seed beads and I'll go through this gold bead and this gold bead. I'll go through the bottom seed bead here. I'll come up to this seed bead up here on this side. I'll pick up a seed bead. I'll come down the seed bead on this side. I'll come up back across this bottom seed bead. I'll come up this seed bead and instead of coming out of a rondelle, we're gonna come out this seed bead up here. And just like we did on the very, very first one that we did here, we're going to just bring our needle back through these four seed beads, just like that. We're gonna come out the rondelle, just like that. And now, just like this side, pick up your one, two, you want to pick up your six rondelles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead, beat it, and join it here. And we are almost done with the necklace portion. Okay, guys, so we have completed our ends and we are ready to add the border and as you can see if your finished piece is well I went ahead and pre-beaded this one you can see the finished piece is a lot longer than this um, if you happen to do these both at the same time don't worry about it because what's gonna happen is when we add these little 15s it's just gonna shrink it and actually bring it closer together so um, it's really easy to do you're gonna do this just like when you added the 15s all around the wing. And so you're just gonna get some string. You're gonna take out your little pink beads and then we're just gonna bead like this and then just pick up a bead and go through the next gold bead, just like that. I'm gonna pick up a bead and just go through the next gold bead. like that and that's what you do all the way around so what you're going to do is you're going to do that on the outside you're also going to do it on the inside here and then you're going to do it on the back this is your outside border and then you're also going to do it on the inside as well and once you do that tie off your thread and you'll have completed one of those 
Hey guys, we are in the home stretch right now. And right now what we should have made is the butterfly and the necklace portion. And what we're gonna do now is create the toggle clasp. And then we're gonna join the toggle clasps to one end of the necklace portion. And then we'll join the other end to the butterfly wing portion and we will be done. So right now what I wanna do is tell you that you're gonna need a toothpick. I forgot to tell you this in the beginning, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it here. So that way going forward, eventually over time, if you wanna wear this necklace, this may start wearing and getting loose. So um, if we have a toothpick in there, it'll help uh, keep it steady. Uh, you're gonna need your rondelles, your gold size 11s, and your blush color size 15s. And uh, right now we're going to be doing the round portion of the toggle. And all that is, is just, let me check my notes here, 16 rondelles. And then you just join it. And then you do the inside and outside diameters, front and back. That's really it. You should be a pro at cubic right angle weave, but if not, I will show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, so we're gonna do the round portion of the toggle clasp and it's very easy. Uh, it harkens back to when we did the uh, caterpillar before the caterpillar got its wings and turned into a butterfly. And I pre-counted out 16 rondelles, which is what you're gonna need. And it's very easy. Once again, we'll go through it. So we'll pick up a rondelle, three seed beads. We'll bring that down. And then we'll go back through the rondelle, just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll pick up a seed bead, a rondelle and a seed bead. And we'll go back through the rondelle, just like that. It's like a little race car or a little turtle. And then what we'll do is we'll go through this seed bead here. Then we'll pick up two seed beads and we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead here. We'll go through the next seed bead. We'll pick up two seed beads and we'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead here. You guys should be old pros at this. <laughs> and then we'll pull. And then what we'll do, once again, I'll show you, is we go through this seed bead here. And then we'll go through this seed bead. I'll pick up a seed bead. We'll come down this one, back through this one, back through this seed bead and out the rondelle. So I'll come up here, I'll pick up a seed bead, and I'll come down this one here. I won't pull tight, just so you can see. Come back through that bottom one, come up that side one, and out the rondelle. And then what I'll do is I'll just take it and pull it. And if you did it right, you have the two rondelles sitting on top of each other. And you have what looks like a paw print. You have the rondelle and the three seed beads. And then if you look at the four corners, you can actually see holes of the seed bead holes facing you here, 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 and here. So now what we need to do is pick up a seed bead a rondelle and a seed bead, and we'll go back through the rondelle. Then we'll go through this seed bead here. We'll pick up two seed beads, and I'll go back through this seed bead and this seed bead here. And then I will go through the seed bead here, the next one. 
and then I'll pick up two seed beads and I'll go through this one and this one. And then we'll go through the next seed bead there. Mind your tail. We'll come up this seed bead here on this side. We'll pick up a seed bead and we'll come down this seed bead here on this side. Okay. We'll come back down across this seed bead here. We will come up this seed bead on the opposite side and out the rondelle. And watch your tail. <laughs> so now we've just added three on. Go ahead and add the other 13. And then once again, I'll show you how to close that. Okay, so you've added your 16 beads. And now we are going to close it. And what we're going to do is just bring our two rondelles together. Just like this. I'll try and hold this and film this <laughs> and then I'm gonna pick up a seed bead I'm gonna come up the rondelle here do you want to mind where your thread is if your thread is coming out the bottom here you want to go from the bottom up on the other side and then I'll pick up another seed bead and I will come down the rondelle from the top to the bottom on the other side. And just like that. We'll come back across this bottom seed bead. We'll come back up the rondelle here. And now we're gonna do this side. So now you can see we have a seed bead up here so we're gonna go up that seed bead. We're gonna pick up a seed bead and we're gonna come down the seed bead on the opposite side. And then we're gonna close it just like that. And then we'll come across the bottom one, back up the top one here. And now we're gonna work on this one. And so, you can see we'll come up this one here on the right side pick up a seed bead we'll come down this one on this side we'll come across the bottom we'll come across this side And now, move the tail out of the way. We're just going to close this top part off. And then we'll just come up in there. Come across. We'll come across there. We'll come back down on this side. We'll cut across, then back up. And then come out the rondelle. And now what I want to do is just move my tail to the other rondelle. That way I can tie them off. Just like that. And then we'll tie it off. Okay. 
And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our little 15s and then we'll just, you know, you can start inside, outside diameter and we'll just do the same thing. We'll just grab on some thread. We'll pick up our little 15 and then we'll go through the next gold seed bead. Pick up a little 15 go through the next gold seed bead. And just like that, go all the way around on the inside, the outside, do it on the top and do it on the back, inside and outside. And I'll show you, we'll work, we'll, 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 ah, we will work on the T section next. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how far we're coming along. Look how far we're almost done. Oh, I'm so happy. We're going to start now with, we just finished up our uh, round circle. Now we're going to do the toggle clasp or the uh, T bar, I guess you can call it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab five rondelles because we are actually, let me show you my other thing here. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to do five rondelles up we're going to make a t intersection by grabbing a rondelle a seed bead and a rondelle then we're going to work on this side and then we're going to work on this side um, and then before we close up this side i'm going to show you the little thing that we're going to do with the toothpick very easy very simple not that hard at all so let's get started so once again we're going to do um, a rondelle and three seed beads so just like that, I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail and I'm gonna go back through the rondelle. I'm gonna pick up a seed bead, a rondelle and a seed bead. I'm just gonna go back through the rondelle you guys should be like old pros at cubic right angle weave at this point in time. <laughs> and if you still don't get it, you can go back through this video a million times just to see and try and get it. It is a tough stitch, but you'll get it eventually. And then we're gonna go back through these two. I'm gonna go through my next seed bead. I'll pick up two seed beads and I'll go back through this one and this one so I'll go through those two I'll pick go through my next seed bead I'll go up through this gold seed bead here I'll pick up a seed bead and I'll come down this gold seed bead here on the opposite side I'll come across the bottom seed bead. I'll come back up that one. I will exit the rondelle. On the top, I will pull and my two seed beads should be sitting on top of each other. Okay. Now go ahead and cubic right angle weave the last three and I'll show you how we're gonna do one side and the other. Okay, so we've gone ahead, we've done the five, and now what we need to do is we need to pick up a rondelle, a seed bead, and a rondelle, and this will set us up for our uh, T. And we'll go back through the rondelle, just like that, and then we'll go through the next seed bead and then you're just gonna do what you normally do. You're gonna pick up two seed beads. We're gonna go through this rondelle and that seed bead. We're gonna go through the next gold bead. And then we'll pick up two seed beads and we'll go through this gold seed bead and that gold seed bead. We'll go through the next gold seed bead 
Then what we'll do is we'll come up the one rondelle on this side, we'll pick up a seed bead, and we'll come down the seed bead on this side. Then we'll cut across this seed bead down here. We'll come up the rondelle here on this side, and we will exit, you should have, a total of four seed beads on the top. And what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna take our thread and we're gonna go through those four seed beads. And there we are. Now, we're set up for our T. You can go one way or do the other way. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. And because we're our thread is this way, and all we have to do is just do this, because our thread is right here with this roundel. We'll just do, now let's do the right side first. I think I said left side first, but let's do the right side. And then we'll just bring that over. We're gonna craw four rondelles to the left. So you can see here's the bead that we put on. And then we have a bead here and bead here. So we want one, two, three, four. Okay, for a total of five across. So I'm gonna pull out one, two, three, four rondelles. And then just like you did when you did the 90 degree turn on the rope and on the butterfly wing, we're just gonna craw this. So we'll pick up a seed bead, a rondelle, and a seed bead. We'll come back through the rondelle. And then I'll go through this seed bead down here. I'll pick up two seed beads and I will come across these two beads, those two seed beads like that. I'll go through the next gold bead down here. I'll pick up two seed beads and I'll go through those two. And then I'll go through that seed bead there. I'll come up here, pick up a seed bead here, come down on that side. I'll just cut across like that. Go up this side, out the rondelle. And I'm gonna continue adding my three beads and you should do the same. Okay, so we crawled five across, four across, one, two, three, four, five across. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close it up and just grab a little bit of your pink beads and then just crawl, just do one, two, three. And then just, just do this with the little beads. So just, just crawl with the little 15s might be a little hard to see because they're so tiny but you can do it and then we'll just grab two more and now maybe i can't see <laughs> okay we'll go across and up I get another little 15 bring that down and across and now what I want to do is come up the 15. Oops, mind your thread. And then out the 15. But what I want to do is I want to take my thread and I want to go a couple rounds as tight as I possibly can because I kind of want these little 15s to sit really, really tight because that is what's going to keep the um, toothpick from falling out. So just do that a couple times around. And once you've done that, let's see where we are here. Take your thread and go back through the beads. I'm going to take a local train stop at all the stops and then you just go back 
and I'm gonna have to put on some new thread don't know about you and then what I'm gonna do is I want to exit my rondelle this way so I am going to come up here come across here just do a little finagling and then come across there okay now what I'm gonna do is grab five of these to match one two three four five four sorry because <laughs> we already have one here so we have a total of one two three four five one two three four five okay and I'm gonna change out my thread and I'm gonna craw five up here and then do not add the pink beads to the other side because we still have to do our little toothpick. Okay, it's time to do a little bit of woodworking. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your toothpick but you don't wanna cut anything off just yet because we wanna take, because this is thick, if we were to cut this off at the round part, it would be kind of hard to get it in there just because of the way you beat it. So you kind of want to have the point in there. And that's kind of like why we wanted this and why we wanted to close it up pretty tight. So you're just going to take your toothpick and you're just going to send it in there. It may be, depending on how you bead, it may be a little hard to get in this. You got to not jam it, but kind of maybe rotate it, twist it. You can feel where the toothpick is. And then you just kind of twist it and there it is. So it's in there. So now what you can do is if you have your thread, be careful. Um, if you want, you can cut it, you know, mark it, take it out. But I probably don't want to do that since it was pretty hard to get in there. Um, so I would just leave it like that. And I would actually just bring this down just maybe a little bit, watch my thread, see if I can, you know, push down my, let's see how we want to do this. Pull that a little tight and then just snip it. Ooh, that went flying. <laughs> right about as close as we can get to it. You don't want too much of it sticking up. But if a lot of it sticks up, I highly recommend wearing um, glasses, like uh, safety glasses, or if you're going to snip it, hide it under something so it doesn't fly up into your eyes. And then I just kind of want to take my little sander. I use this for polymer clay and um, whatchamacallit, uh, resin. And then that way you can just sand it down. So now really can't see it and now what we'll do you can see it'll be nice and stiff and it won't come out and it won't do this and it won't bend over time Now I want to grab my four and I'm going to take So now I'm going to take my four beads or my um, little 15s and I'm going to craw those. So I'll just grab a handful and then I'll just do what I did. We'll pick up three, go back through the rondelle, go through the next gold bead, 
pick up two. Go through that 15 and that gold. Go through the next gold bead. I'll pick up these two 15s. Go through the gold bead. Go through that gold bead. Go up there. Add the last 15. and out the 15 on top and we'll just do that like we did on the other side we'll just bring our thread through a couple times around there we go And I think that's as much as I can get my thread through because they're a little 15 so you can't put a lot of thread through them okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little 15s I'm gonna come back through here and I'm gonna take these little 15s and I'm gonna go down until I hit a gold bead and I'm just gonna take these 15s and just add them in between the gold beads so we're just gonna go down like this and like we did we're just gonna fill in those little spaces And then when you come down to the end there, and you can see your gold bead right there, pick up your little 15, go through the gold bead, pick up another little 15, and go down the other side. And continue to do this all the way down and then when you get to the gold bead, go here, do this, make sure you do all four corners here so that way it looks like a square. And when you're done with that, we will be done with all our components. And the only thing that we'll need to do now is join everything. And we have all our pieces made. And this has just been amazing so far. Now it's time to join everything. And we can start by adding the toggle clasps. And what's gonna make this very easy is that this is cubic right angle weave. And as you can see on my very first prototype, we did cubic right angle weave to join the ends. And we're just going to do the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. And as you can see here, we have the gold beads. One, two, three, four. We're just going to focus on that four diamond pattern shape. We're, we're going to completely ignore the pink beads like we did prior segments back. Feels like forever ago. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little, maybe two, and then we'll add to here. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is join the T bar to the um, top portion of the necklace up here. And it's very easy to do. We can just join it together. And what you wanna do, and to make it easy on you, is to join it here first. So you wanna see the end pieces like right here, okay? And so what you wanna do is you wanna get it so that you 
this seed bead right here. So we're gonna be focusing on this little paw print. So you got the little rondelle, you've got the three seed beads, and then we're gonna focus this here. So you can see, we're gonna match up those seed beads right there. And it's easier to do it on the side first. So we'll go up this seed bead here We'll pick up a seed bead and we'll come down this one over here and then just ignore the pink beads. And then we'll pick up a seed bead and we'll come back up here like this. So in essence, you're gonna be joining this like you would a 90 degree turn. So mind your tail. So just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go back across, back down, because I kind of want to reinforce it a little bit here. I'll come back a bottom here, and I will come back up here. So we just, in essence, closed off that one side. Then we're gonna flip it onto its back here. And now what we're gonna do is we see we have the bead here, we have the right and the left bead here, we need one up here. So we're gonna go up this bead here, this seed bead, still ignoring our pink beads. And then I'll pick up a seed bead and I will come down this seed bead here on this side. Pull that. And I'll go through the bottom one there. I'll go back up here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it on this side. So we'll match up again. And this time I'll go up this seed bead right there. I'll pick up a seed bead and I'll come down the seed bead on the opposite side. So there we are. And I'll come back across and I will come up here like this. And there we go. Now we've added three sides. Now we just need to close off this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up the rondelle and we don't need to add on any other beads. So I'll move the tail out of the way. We'll come across this seed bead up here, which was the very first one we put on at the bottom there, or maybe it was the second one, just like that. I'll come across this seed bead here and then I will come back up this seed bead here and then out the rondelle. Now if you want, and I do recommend this, go back and just reinforce everything. So take your bead, your thread, I mean, and just go back through what you had just put on um, because you kind of want to reinforce that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this off for the sake of the length of this video. just like that. All right. But go ahead, reinforce everything back in um, and then cut your thread. And we've got one side almost done. And then what we'll do is we'll join the same exact way. Okay. 
So as you can see, we'll match up those beads right there. In fact, with this one, we'll match up the pink beads and we'll match up those 11s, the gold beads on either side. And I think that would be easier. And we'll do the same thing on this side and on this side. Eee, are you getting excited? We're almost done. Yay. So we only have a couple more things to do. So now it's time to add on our little uh, round circle as part of the toggle clasp. And what you want to do with this one is because this had like a bar already, you kind of want to create one and then we'll join it. So you can just go anywhere on the outside diameter here. Um, just, you know, we're going to focus on um, top, bottom, left and right. Okay. And then we're just going to cubic right angle weave up from there. So I'll just go right here. I'll pick up three seed beads. And then I'll go back through that. I'll go up, ignoring the pink beads. I'll go through that seed bead. I'll pick up two. I'll go through that seed bead and that seed bead. Mind your thread. I will go through the next seed bead right there. And those little pink beads might get in the way. So you want to make sure that your thread isn't getting caught behind there. And then I'll go through this seed bead and this seed bead. So just like that. I'll go across the seed bead on the bottom there. I'll come back up this seed bead here pick up a seed bead. I'll come down, go across, and I'll come up, and then I will come out the top here. Now, if it'll make it easier for you, you can go ahead and do a turn around, um, make your, go through the top four beads there, so that way it'll just kind of keep the thread all good and everything you don't have to do this but if you want to it keeps those four beads from like wiggling all over the place okay there and then I'll just I think what I'll do is I will go back here back down this bead because I want to tie off my tail I'm just tying it off so that way it doesn't pull out. There we go. And I'll always snip it later. I don't want to snip it just yet, but I just want to make it so that way it's... And there's our four beads. There. Tie it. And there's our four beads that we're going to work with. And so now, just like you did with the toggle clasp, the T-bar, we're going to join it. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that my tail is exiting one of those four beads. So I think I'll come up here and then come out here and there we go. Okay, so let me see where I am and where I need to move my thread. So we want to get it like we did with the other one on its side here. And I want to join it with this bead. So I'm going to bring my thread through this bead here and join it. I will join it with this bead here. So that one, okay. 
All right, so my thread is exiting the bead here. I'm gonna pick up the seed bead. I'm gonna come down the bead on the opposite side. Just like that. I'll pick up a seed bead. And I'll go back up the bead on the opposite side. And then what I'll do is I'll just go back through those beads again. just to reinforce it. There, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna match it up, that seed bead and that seed bead there. So I'll go up here, mind your thread. I'll pick up a seed bead and I will come down this seed bead on this side. Just like that. And I'll come across here. I'll come up the seed bead back up on the other side. And next is this, so now I'm gonna match this side and this side. So we'll go up here, pick up a seed bead, come down the opposite side, just like that. And we'll come across that bottom one, and come up, back up the side. And last but not least, let's join these together. So now I'm just gonna pop these four beads together. I'll come up here on this side. I'll come across here. I'll bring my needle down through this bead on this side, just like that. Then I will come across. I will come up. And once again, reinforce through there. If you wanna add the pink beads, you can, but I'm, I'm not going to. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just reinforce again on this side because to me, it looks a bit loose. So I'll come across here. There, come down once again here. There we go. And then back up here. And then because my thread is exiting here, I'm gonna actually move this towards the back, just like this. And there. And then what I will do is move this thread coming out there as well. I'll tie off and we are done with the toggle clasp. So. We are, oh, it's, it's, I'm so happy, you know, and now it's time to join this. So go ahead and go through, do your toggle clasp and we will join it and that will be it. Okay guys, this is it, our last step. And I'm going to show you how to join the necklace portion to the butterfly wing. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to join on the pink beads in the front and the pink beads on the back. So there's pink beads on the point. And I know I've said in the past, ignore the pink beads, but in this case, we're not. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip it over. It really doesn't matter, however you wanna do it. If it's easier for you to flip it over and do it this way, we'll do it like this. And now what I wanna do is I wanna take my needle and I'm gonna come up the pink bead on the point up here. I'm gonna keep this down on my bead mat. In fact, let me zoom in so you guys can see. I'm zooming in because it'll be easier because I can't lift it, it's just really big. So we'll come up here, the pink bead here. We'll pick up a gold bead. I will come down the pink bead on the opposite side, just 
like that. Mind your tail. We'll pick up another gold bead and then we'll come back up the pink bead on the opposite side. So it's just like that. And now what I want to do is because I want to reinforce it, I'm going to come back down across that top gold bead. I'll come back down the pink bead on this side. I'll come across this gold bead here and then I will come back up the pink bead on the opposite side. And I will pull tight. And now what I will do is if you look here, you can now see got a bead here on the left and a bead here on the right and a bead at the bottom so just like with craw we're gonna pick up we're gonna go up the bead on the right side we'll pick up a seed bead we'll come down the bead on the left side and then we'll come across the bottom and then we'll come across that seed bead up there Okay, now we're going to flip it here. Be careful that you don't twist this because it's very easy to twist. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see this little pink bead right here. So we'll come right up that little pink bead. That's the bead that is on the tip, the point. Kind of like what we did on the back. Then we're going to pick up a seed bead and we're going to come down the little pink bead on the opposite side there. Okay. And now, move my tail out of the way. So now that we've come down the pink bead on the opposite side, you can see this is the gold bead that we put on the top and when we first put on the bead in the back. So we're just going to go across that gold bead, back up the pink bead, and then we're going to flip it over here. And now what we're going to do is now you can see we have this bead at the top and the bottom, and we have the bead on the right and the left. So we're gonna go up this bead here. We're gonna go through this bead on the top here. We will come down bead here on the left and then we'll come across and then back up the bead on the right and then we'll just tie that off and there we are and now we have just joined the beads now what you can do and what I highly suggest you do with this is because this butterfly pendant is a bit difficult a little bit heavy what I want you to do is go back and reinforce just like this especially where you have the little pink beads because those are smaller little beads and we'll come down the pink here we'll come down here and so this is what you want to do. You just want to go and reinforce that. Back up the pink bead. 
reinforce the back the top here which we just did prior and then just reinforce the back here we'll come down here and oops because the pink beads are a little hard to get through and I'm using a size 10 needle just bring that through like that and I'm just gonna tie it off Now we've got one portion of the necklace already up and now you have to do this and now you have to do this with the other side and we'll be done. Guys we did it. It's all done. Look how beautiful this butterfly is. It's just amazing. Did a wonderful, wonderful job. I hope that when you make the beaded butterfly and that you sit through the almost three hours of tutorials, that if you make this, I wanna see it. Come to my Facebook page, come to Instagram, post it. I wanna see what you make with your beautiful butterflies. And I'm, I'm just so happy. And thank you so much for being here and being with me. I have another project in the works. It's going to probably be something mechanical, but I need to work it out first with a prototype before um, I do a tutorial for it. So that will probably be a little bit of time. So until my next video, see you out there. Bye.